What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's episode, I'm gonna be working on the engine mounts on the E30 VR6 project. So all the cutting is done, the engine is in its final resting spot. So now I really have to get on to fabricating some more parts. So getting the engine mounts done, uh, getting the oil pan done, and getting the oil pickup done, and the subframe. Uh, so those are really all 100% fabricated parts I will need to do. Uh, so I think first thing I'm gonna do is do the engine mounts so that the engine can be in its final resting position. Uh, after that, probably gonna go with uh, working on the oil pickup to bring it to where I want it to go, then finish up the oil pan, and once everything is done, then I can cap up uh, the subframe and uh, get everything welded and get ready for paint. So uh, let's get to it. So for the passenger side mount, I'm gonna be using uh, the mounting holes that were used for the Touareg mount. Uh, so the Touareg was actually using these four with this one here. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing since uh, the E30 engine mount location is there, I'm gonna be using these four holes here. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep the two in the front um, if I need to move some accessories to this side because when I get to the driver's side I'll show you I'll need to move some stuff around uh, so the plan is to use E30 engine mount and fabricate a custom mount to go there so I picked up a set of uh, polyurethane E30 engine mount bushings uh, so those will be just fine for my application here so these will mount right here in the stock location and from there I can build my mount to go up to the side of the engine right here. So now that the passenger side is done, let's go and try to do the driver one. Uh, so on the driver side, it's always a little bit more complicated on a VR6. Um, the stock Touareg mount has the oil filter uh, integrated in it, but as I showed in a previous video, I won't be able to use it or else I'll have an issue with my steering column. Uh, so what I'm gonna have to do is actually modify my accessory bracket uh, that normally comes down and uses three, these three bolts here. Um, and then you have the power steering pump at the bottom and the AC, and then you have the alternator that's on top. Um, for now, I won't be using uh, either the power steering pump or AC. Um, so what I'm gonna do is actually modify the accessory bracket that I have right here. So as you see, we have uh, the two holes here for the alternator, and then you have the AC that goes here normally, and then the power steering pump. So it goes like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just keep this part of the bracket with those two uh, bolting holes. I'm just going to cut the bracket here. I'm probably going to reinforce it just to be sure. 
uh, and then that way I'll have all the space here at the bottom that's going to be available for my mount and uh, the day I decide to reinstall power steering it will probably be an electric one because uh, I just want to keep as much power on the engine as I can so that way I can just reinstall it pretty much wherever I want maybe I can make a bracket on the actual engine mount on the engine uh, or modify the alternator but anyway we'll see at that time so the mount's going to be bolted really on the front of the engine with the four bolts that you see here and they will be coming back here to the stock E30 location so same thing as the other side so that way I'll retain the stock E30 engine mounts uh, so yeah that's pretty much it so I'll take a couple of measurements and uh, then head to the computer draw those draw the parts out and uh, get them cut get everything welded on and get everything fitted on the car so let's go Temporary bolts here. So there's one. There's two. Last one on the back here. That's four. Okay, so these are way too long, of course, but this is for mock up, so it is pretty fit. So that works. So one done. So now I'm going to install uh, the mount on the subframe with the other plate that I just cut off, and then I can take some measurements between the two. Uh, to draw up some more plates and get them cut out. So we have the other plate here that I cut out with the mount. So the plate's going to go on top here and that's going to be bolted right down there. Right here. So like that. With the bolt. And then I'm going to go from there to the plate I just showed you on the side of the block. So now all I need to do is to measure up and link this plate here to this one here and we'll be good to go. Uh, so like you saw I torque this, this is really important because the mount uh, compresses. So I just want to be sure I have my final resting position and not uh, too high so that when the engine goes on it'll go down. Now it's torqued so I don't think that even with the engine weight it'll go down. Uh, if it goes a little too low, what I can do is just add some spacers here to jack everything up, but it should be good. That'll be some fine tuning to do afterwards. Uh, so let's measure that and design the mount.
So there you have it. The engine is mounted in the car with the custom engine mounts. I'm really happy with the result for my first ever engine mounts that I built from scratch. Uh, they're definitely a little bit overkill, but I'd rather them be stronger than not enough. So next time I'll be working on the oil pump pickup and the oil pan. So thanks for watching and see you guys next time.